Hi, now I'm going to show you how to balance redox reactions using the half reaction method. Um, and we use this a lot, especially when we're dealing with um, electrochemical cells, when we're making batteries. Uh, this is going to be similar to what we've done with, it's called the oxidation uh, number method. It's going to be very similar, um, except we've broken apart this section that's reduced in a section that's oxidized. Um, so we're looking just at half the part that's reduced and the other half of the reaction, the part that's oxidized. Um, but you'll see that we follow a lot of the same steps. Okay, so number one, always where we begin is writing the oxidation numbers. I have two examples up here. Let's do this first one. Number one, so uh, uh, iron elemental form is zero, monoatomic ions. This is going to be a plus three. The charge is the same as the oxidation number. Um, chlorine, elemental form, that's a zero, a diatomic element. Um, becomes a chloride ion, which is a minus one. I know that because it's a monoatomic ion. Um, now what we're going to do is identify what's reduced and what's oxidized. So iron is going from perfect zero to down by three. That positive three means that it's lost three electrons. So going from reactant zero to that plus three, I've lost three electrons. It means that we lose three electrons. That's Leo, lose electrons oxidation. This is oxidation. If you're not familiar with the terms, go to my redox playlist and watch the redox overview. Um, so whatever is oxidized is the reducing agent. Now notice how this is written for half reactions. This reactant iron has three more electrons in the product, so there's plus three. There are the three electrons that it lost. We have to balance the electrons on both sides. Um, now the chlorine, we are going from a zero to a minus one. Minus one means we have an extra electron. So zero to up by one means that we gain one electron. So we gain one electron. That's GER, gain electrons reduction. So this is reduction. And whatever's reduced is the oxidizing agent. Now notice this, I have two chlorine. We always write oxidation numbers for one atom. Well, one chlorine goes from a zero to a minus one one chlorine gains one electron. But if I have two chlorines, let's multiply this by a two. If I've got two chlorines, um, one times two means that we gain a total of two electrons. Just be careful with that. Now, step three, um, I always look at the atoms that are being oxidized and reduced to make sure that they are balanced before we do anything else. One iron, one iron, two chlorine, two chlorine. Okay, we're good to go. Um, now we're going to balance the electrons. The goal is to have the same number of electrons. You have to have the same electrons gained as the number of electrons lost. The way you do that is with coefficients. Um, so I have three lost, two gained. The smallest number that those both go into is six. So I'm going to have to multiply this iron by a two. So watch this. One iron loses three electrons, but if I've got two iron atoms, multiply that by two atoms, we are going to lose six electrons. Now here on the chlorine, I've got to multiply that by a three to get it to six electrons. So I put a three right here. One chlorine is going to gain one electron, but how many chlorines do I have now? Six, three times two. Six chlorines, so let's multiply it by that three, the Brinkelhoff, um, or excuse me, the diatomic, times three equals six electrons. There we have it. The electrons are balanced. And so important in redox, you have to balance both the electrons and the atoms. So both electrons are balanced. Um, okay, so at this point, our next step is to balance the atoms. Let's make sure since we had to change some of the coefficients to balance the electrons, let's make sure that the atoms are now balanced. Two iron, so let's put a two right here. I've got six chlorine, so we're going to have to change this to a six, six chlorine. Now, really nice, after you do this, all you have to do is add the half reactions, and there's a way to check yourself to make sure you did it correctly. You should be able to cancel the electrons. The number of electrons on the reactant side should equal the electrons on the product side, so when you add the two half reactions, they cancel out. So watch this, great big addition sign. I'm going to add these together. Notice, we are oh, so sorry. Look what I forgot to do, you guys. I apologize on this. Um, when we multiplied that two, what happened to the electrons? That became six. And I was just telling you, hey, check yourself. This is a good way to check yourself. And then uh, right here, when I multiplied that by three, 
I got six. So sorry, forgot that was doing it in my head quick and forgot to uh, change that. Um, so when you multiply the um, atom, it changes the, the electrons, you have to change it right there. And right here for the oxidation and reduction half reactions. Okay, so now we can add. And checking myself, sure enough, six electrons on the reactant side will cancel with six electrons on the product side. Okay, let's go ahead and add everything. We've got two iron plus three of the chlorine yields two of the iron three plus six of the chloride ion. And that, sorry about that, and that is um, a balanced redox reaction. And we did it using half reactions. So there we have it. There's your answer. Whew, nice. Okay, let's do another one. We are going to take this iron half reaction with the silver. Let's do oxidation numbers first. Number one, so we've got a zero plus two, down here a plus one and a zero. Zero to plus two, I'm at perfect zero. I'm now down by two. This is going to lose two electrons. Leo, lose electrons oxidation. And whatever is oxidized, of course, is the reducing agent. Let's check while I'm here that the atoms are balanced. One iron, one iron, good to go. Okay, now we've got our silver. So plus one to a zero. I'm down by one, now I'm at a perfect zero which means we gained one electron. Gain electrons is GER, gain electron reduction. Reduction. Um, so this is going to be our oxidizing agent. Whatever's reduced is the oxidizing agent. Let's double check the silver, make sure the atoms are balanced. One silver, one silver. Okay, good. Now we can balance the electrons. I've got two lost, one gained. Well, the smallest number those both go into is two. 1 times 2 is 2, and 2 times 1 is 2. So I can leave this. I can leave the two electrons. Now down here, I'm going to put a 2 right here. So if I have 1 silver, it gains 1 electron. But if I've got 2 silver, multiply that by 2 atoms, it gives me 2 electrons. So how many electrons did we gain? We gained 2 electrons, not 1. Okay, we gained 2 electrons. Nice. Um, so beautiful. The electrons are balanced. Two lost, two gained. Now let's balance the atoms. One iron, one iron, two silver. We've got to put a two there, two silver. Last thing we need to do, love, love, love this part. All we do is add everything together. Remember, the electrons on the reactant product side should be the same. They have to be the same. Number lost equals number gained. So when you, we add the two half reactions, those cancel out. So two electrons, two electrons cancel out. Let's add everything else up. We have our two moles of silver plus the one mole of iron. Sorry, that was the silver ion. Yields one mole of iron ion plus two moles of solid silver. And that is our balanced redox reaction using half reaction methods. Method. Okay, very good. So proud of you. Well done. Have a great day. If you have more questions, go to my playlist under redox. Thank you.